Hi everyone, this is David Watts from IBM Redbooks. Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the IBM System X 3530M4. This is a 1U rack mounted system with support for two Intel Xeon E5-2400 processors, also known as Romley EN processors. The 3530M4 is one of our value two socket family of servers and is for customers looking for a mid-level server perhaps as a virtualization engine, light database, web server or as part of a cloud infrastructure. Looking at the front of the server, you can see the 3530M4 offers a flexible and scalable design. Depending on your needs, you can either get the server with eight two and a half inch drives or you can get the server with four three and a half inch drives, including high capacity three terabyte drives. Simple swap drive configurations are also available for those of you not needing hot swap drives and optical drives are also available on some models. For models with two and a half inch bays, you can install either SAS or SATA hard drives or high performance solid state drives. Also on the front of the server you'll see there are a couple of USB ports, a video port, status LEDs and a pop out light path diagnostics panel to make it easier to diagnose the problem if a hardware fault arises. Looking at the back of the server, you can see it supports hot swap power supplies, or you can get it with one fixed power supply. All power supplies are 80 plus certified. To the right of the power supplies are four gigabit ethernet ports. Two are enabled as standard. If you want, you can enable the third and fourth ports using IBM Features On Demand. IBM Features On Demand is a licensing program where the server comes with a component but you only pay for it when you need it. Next to the Ethernet ports are four USB ports, plus a serial port and a video port. Above all the ports are three PCIe 3 slots. Slot 1 on the right is a by 16 slot, full height, half length. Slot 2 on the left is a by 8 slot supporting low profile adapters. There's also a third slot behind the grill just above the Ethernet ports. This slot is is where the, the RAID controller goes if one is configured. Looking inside the server you can see we jam a lot into a 1U space. The two big heat sinks in the middle are the two Intel Xeon E5-2400 series processors. Depending on the processor you select each can have up to 8 cores and the core speed can be up to 2.4 gigahertz. Each processor can have up to 20 megabytes of cache. The E5-2400 processors have three memory channels operating either at 1600 megahertz or 1333 megahertz depending on the processor selected with up to two DIMMs per channel. Each of the two processors has six memory DIMM slots. The server supports UDIMMs or RDIMMs and using a full complement of 16 gig RDIMMs you can get 192 gigabytes of RAM in the server. The server op offers chip kill, memory mirroring and memory rank sparing for redundancy. Here you can also see where the three PCI slots are. If you do have a RAID controller with cache configured, the battery or power module is installed in a special carrier just in front of the power supplies. This ensures it remains properly cooled. The server also has six redundant system fans. These are fixed non-hot swap fans. So there you have it. This, the IBM System X 3530M4. There's lots more information on the IBM Redbooks product guide. If you're watching this video from the Redbooks website, just scroll down to see it. If you're watching this video from YouTube or some other website, look for the link in the description. And thanks for watching.